Hey guys, Slinger184 here, and welcome to the Stellar Blade demo. Now, um, I actually did play this demo a bit already, but I figured I'd start from scratch to play it for you guys and everything. Um, unfortunately, this game's gotten some controversy for some obvious reasons. You'll see why in a few moments. But with all that controversy aside, from how I played the demo, I actually like this game. And no, it's not for those controversial reasons. It's actually legit a good game so far, as a demo at least. And um, hopefully the real like release uh, in a couple weeks, coming out April 26th, hopefully the full release of the game is actually really good. But so far I'm liking what I'm seeing. So I actually pre-ordered uh, the, 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 the uh, deluxe edition copy of it. So yeah, hopefully it's actually a good game when it actually releases. Um, but yeah. So we're gonna go through it now. Show you guys how it's like and everything. So last time you guys seen seen me, I was um, playing Metroid Prime. We're kind of taking a little bit of a break for that with this game, but I figured since since it's just a demo, I figured this shouldn't take too long, so I could play this real quick and take a break from Metroid while I show you guys this awesome game. Um, short ponytail. I I tried it with the long ponytail. It feels like it's a little bit distracting sometimes. Uh, perhaps our experience, no, uh, uh, sound is fine. <clears throat> uh, subtitles, English, interface, accessibility, controls. Uh, one more thing. I think it was in display. Balanced. Okay, good. Just want to make sure that was good. Unfortunately, I can't set this in HDR for myself because the capture card I'm using, I don't know what it is, but it should display HDR, but for some reason it's not for PlayStation 5, so it is what it is, but yeah. Alright, uh, by the time I actually get a chance to play the full game, I might get a new capture card that should work with HDR on the PlayStation 5. Because I know this works with HDR for the Xbox. I remember trying it. So, yeah. Alright, new game. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, and for the different modes, there's normal mode and story mode. Normal mode, you play that, this game's going to be somewhat more challenging. Like, I'm talking like Dark Souls level of challenging. So, if you're into that kind of stuff, that's for you. Me... I don't like Dark Souls. I, I just, it's too challenging to the point where it gets kind of annoying. And it's like, I just want to progress, man, you know? So, yeah. So, story mode, I played it already on story mode, and it feels a lot more like Devil May Cry, which I love Devil May Cry. So, yeah. So, we're going to play in story mode. Transmitting final briefing. Okay. As of now, Airborne Squad <clears throat> 7 will exterminate the Alpha Nativas occupying District 3. Their objective is the capture or dispatchment of the Elder Nativa. Pods entering atmosphere. Alright, here we go. One minute until threshold is reached. I gotta say though, the art design for this game is on point. And no, I'm not just talking about the controversial stuff you choose to see in a few moments. I'm talking about just everything else. Like, wow. Like they really did good. Like the game the the company that made this game, uh, I think it was called Shift Up. They're a Korean based company. And this is their first legit like triple A game. And I'm like, this is their first triple A game? Dude, like for their first triple A game. This is solid, bro. Like, dang, they did good. Wow. Oof. After this cutscene, I'm gonna take a quick pause and check back on the audio levels for this. I feel like the game might be overpowering my voice a little bit. All available drop pods will be ejected according to protocol B32. <clears throat> yeah, that fleet got totally schwacked, man. <clears throat> so, kind of like, uh, you know, always the cutscene ends then when we actually start playing the game. So I just want to give you guys a little bit of an update on what's going on with me these days. Boom! Oh, they did. That pod's damaged. 
It's our character, Eve. That was a rough landing. Zero seven five three one. Bot landing complete. Removing physical shield. Opening hatch. Uh oh, hatch is locked. Hatch. Come on, come on! Come on, man, claustrophobic. Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Oh, yeah. oh, okay. It's not opening. Now what? Huh? Whoa! Hello, baby. <laughs> uh, just play into the controversy a little. This place is dangerous. Take my hand. Uh, yeah, sure, pretty lady. And here it comes. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. You see. <laughs> that a lot of feminists are up in arms about how they create these characters and everything. So, yeah, like I said, a little bit on the controversial side. This is the moment we start to realize, wait a minute, all these soldiers that have been dying this whole time are all women? You know? <laughs> so, yeah. This way to the boss. You take the left. I'll take care of this side. So, kind of talking about my life now. Um, so, so far, me and my wife decided to buy a new house, and we're selling our current one, which is great. We're on contract for both selling and buying, and uh, the lawyers are just doing their thing. And soon we'll be into a new house, which I'm excited about. She's very excited about it. She's like, yeah, it's my dream to live in a house of our own. Like, that's good, <laughs> you know? She's contributing to it too. It's not going to be just my money or that was close. or the money that my mom's putting into it. It's going to be her money as well. So all three of us are kind of contributing into it. So kind of going back into this game. Um, yeah, like I said, a lot of, ooh, ouch, oh well, she did. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, a lot of the controversy around the female body stuff and everything. But um, honestly, though, like I don't care about the controversy. I just care about whether it's a good game or not. And so far, like I said, I'm liking this game. But just to kind of play into the controversy a little bit, like I got nothing wrong with women being proud of their bodies, whether it's you know whether they're on the more heavy set side or on the more lean side. <laughs> but um, the way I see it, though, like, they actually modeled the main character, the character we're playing as, off of a real-life Korean, um, um, Korean model. So, it's not like they just didn't make this body themselves. No, they actually took a real person's body, a model, and put her in the game. So, what's the problem? This person actually exists. So, you know? So, yeah, a lot of people just... I feel like sometimes they try to make big deals out of things that aren't as big a deal as you may think, you know? There you go. Like I said, I suck at Dark Souls games, so it's why I play on story mode. Whoa. Nice. Let's get out of here before more of them show up. Okay. You secured. Rendezvous point in sight. Alright, we're going this that way. way. Sprint! On a run, let's go! Man, the graphics in this game are insane, too. Like, dang. Particle effects, debris, explosions. Oi. Woo, incoming! <laughs> Don't stop. Keep moving, I'm moving, I'm moving! Ow, that hurt. That was close. This isn't looking good. Let's go. Is that an Alpha Nativa? Let's join them. <coughs> Whoa. Oh, man. 
the whole squad is dead. Sheesh. Oh, my God. That's pretty bad. haven't completed our mission. Now it's just up to us to see this mission through. Understand? <laughs> hmm? Uh-oh. That thing ain't dead yet. Ah, oh, crap. Great. Are you ready? Alright, let's see if we can beat this guy. First time I played this demo, I kind of messed up with him, but luckily, they don't care if you actually beat him or not. Second time I played, I actually did beat him, so that felt good. This time I actually know what I'm doing, too. Ow! Ah. Parrying and dodging is the key. Oof, I should just dodge that. Nice. Oof, I wasn't ready for that. Okay, health. Ow, mother. There we go. Ow, dude, I'm trying to freaking attack. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, okay. Got him. Nice. Nice. It wasn't an alpha, but it was a strong one. Mm. You fought well, even better than during training. You were all together, but then... <laughs> the damage to your body frame is serious. She's pretty roughed up. We have to find the supply camp. Wait, Eve. I hmm? hear something. Oh. Eve. What now? Eve, are you alright? Oh uh, boy. That don't look good. Alpha Nativa. Oh boy. Wasn't that their objective to kill one of these things specifically? Yo, that thing looked crazy. <clears throat> I don't think that thing is your friend. Ah, it's going for Eve. Oh. Oh, Taki. Eve, get out of here. 
was brutal. Stellar Blade. <laughs> and this one, the demo kind of move, shifts into a different area and all that. That was just the introduction to the game. <sighs> so kind of play into the controversy a little bit more. Yeah, like, you know, a lot of women are like, oh, you're you're depicting a woman in an unrealistic way with their bodies, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm going to be honest. For someone who's been in the Army, no, I have not seen female bodies or anything like that in the Army in this extent, no. But I do know a lot of physically fit women in the Army. And Still, make sure judging... I could say that some of them were this physically fit. Not the all of them. There were some women that were clearly not physically fit and were perfectly proud of their bodies, which is fine. But there were some women that were also very proud of their bodies that have figures more like that and were extremely physically fit. So, just saying. It's not like it's unrealistic or unachievable. It's like, it actually is. It's all on you. Do you want that kind of body? Work hard for it. If you don't want that kind of body, then okay. More power to you. You all have your own, uh, now get ready. I'll be your own choice on that. Me, like, I take care of my body. I don't care about the way it looks. I just want to be healthy. And that's a good mentality, too. You shouldn't have to worry about the way you look. Just be healthy. Because when you're not healthy, that's not good. So you want to keep yourself healthy. You want to live long and prosper. Yes. Yes, This Star was Trek. the final <laughs> battlefield of civilization. It was also known as a truly colossal city. Hmm. This does look like a big city. Something is falling from the sky. A strange sensation. You'd never seen rain before? This must be Earth's rain. Hmm. We can admire the scenery later. We have a job to do here. Right. Quick look around. The terrain data's changed recently. You know, I'm starting to think they're playing into some biblical concepts because I just realized her name is Eve and the guy that found her, his name is Adam. Yeah, definitely a biblical, biblical reference on that one. Alright, let's get going. And I love the music in this game. It's so calming and peaceful. And then once you start fighting, it's the same song just with like a remix kind of beat to it. Faster... Faster paced remix kind of beat. And I'm usually not much for PlayStation 5. I'm more of an Xbox and PC guy. But the rare moments I do like get into a PlayStation 5 game that I like, like this one, you really see the capabilities of the PlayStation 5 controller. I mean, I don't like the way it feels in terms of like, you know, controls, but all the special features like the touchpad and and uh, Be what was it called? The haptics rumbling and all that stuff? Oh man, like right now, the controller is making little dotty shakes representing the rain hitting her body. It's like, whoa, that's so cool, you know? I even love how the controllers are, uh, oh, it's the triggers, I mean, are as well. Like, I remember playing uh, Black Ops 4? No. Yeah, I think it was, no, Black Ops Cold War. I remember playing Black Ops Cold War on PC using the PlayStation 5 controller, and the triggers actually lock as if you're, you know, on like the sear point of like a, um, on a real gun. I was like, what? <laughs> like, dude, that's so cool. <laughs> so, yeah, like, this, this controller is legit. I just don't like the positioning war. of the controls yeah. themselves, unfortunately. If the Xbox controller had all these same cool features that the PlayStation 5 controller had, I would totally make that, like, control best controller ever made. I don't think this is the best control ever made, but it has a lot of cool next-gen features. It's a security code, a type of entry permit. Hmm. Try entering the code. Like I want to get the soundtrack to this game. That's how good this music is. It's so peaceful. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're singing in Korean as well, by the way. Hence why this is a Korean-based game. 
Whoa. It's because of the city's unstable terrain. You'll get used to it soon. Mm. So, seeing this game, like I said, has like three different graphical features. It has the performance mode, the balance mode, which is what we're playing on right now, and the quality mode, which is all about 4K resolution. However, it's locked at 30 FPS, which is kind of ugh, unfortunately. I haven't played it, but I know it's not going to be good. I'm not going to like it. Like, once you play a game at higher than 30 FPS, there's no looking back, at least for me. So, I'd rather play on balance mode at least. But with all these different performance settings, I'm really disappointed in what Xbox is doing lately. Because Xbox just recently announced that, yeah, we're releasing um, Hellblade 2, which I can't wait for. But on Xbox console, it's only going to be a quality mode with 30 FPS. I'm like, seriously? And don't get me wrong. Like, they said, oh, we're doing it like that because we want to have a more cinematic feel. Okay, okay, I can appreciate that. But not everyone appreciates that. Some people really want that 60 FPS. They don't matter what. Even if the game is like a slower paced cinematic game. So, yeah. So, I'm kind of disappointed they did that. But we'll see. I'm getting it on PC anyway. So, I'll, I'll definitely be able to play at 60 FPS. But on Xbox consoles, for you guys who don't have PC and are using Xbox, sorry that had to happen to you guys. Um, I don't have enough money for that. What's this? Skill settings. I do have one. Great. Tranquil little camp. Oops. Stand there. I can actually change the music playing in this camp too. After she killed Taki, or that thing killed Taki. Whoa. Oh, Adam came in and saved her. Okay. Taki. Not gonna lie. It always kind of hits the heart a little when I see a woman die like that. I mean, I've never actually seen a woman die like that. That would really hurt, but even in a movie or video game, it, it kind of hurts, you know? <laughs> It's sad. From here on, you have to stay alert, Eve. Hmm. That was actually one of my biggest fears during the COVID mission, where I, I know a lot of my friends, they were going out and collecting dead bodies and all that stuff from the COVID thing, like, you know, helping clean up and everything, and going to people's apartments of people who died from COVID and all that. A lot of people they said they saw were, like, older people and even a kid <laughs> like one of my buddies he said he went to a house to help with the cleanup of a of a kid who died in the building but when he looked at it he's like this kid didn't die from covid this kid was murdered and he's like why the hell are we handling this like i don't know they told us to handle it. it's like what the freak you know so he got a little bit traumatized from that and that was one of my biggest fears during covid that i would have to clean up a body of a of oh wait hold on a second you can use the action assist function in story mode while action assist is active. Time slows down when an enemy performs a powerful attack and controls. The skill will be doable. Okay. So that's one of the benefits of story mode. Having like quick reaction time stuff, you know. I'm gonna let him attack first. Oh, okay. Ah shoot. No wait for it. Ah, shoot! I suck at this. What the hell? There we go. Alright, there we go. Just want to make sure I got down. Nice. Okay. Like I said, I suck at Dark Souls games, but Devil May Cry games I'm not too bad at. Micro drive. Nice. So, like I was saying... Yeah, like, that was one of my biggest fears during COVID, that they're going to select me for body detail. And, uh, my worst fear oh, was to walk into one of the apartments and see, like, a dead boxes. woman or a dead child, and I don't think I would have been able to take that. I mean, well, I've never true. seen a dead so body before, period, be but I think sure seeing everything. a guy dead? Eh, that's a guy, whatever, I guess. 
And when my buddy's dead, yeah, that kind of hurts. But, you know, at least I know what he signed up for sort of thing. So I can respect that. But a dead child or a dead woman? Like, oh gosh, no. I don't think I could take that. <laughs> so, yeah, Careful. that would suck. You see the rapids below. If you fall, it's over. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, what? Hey, what the hell happened? Ah, I just do a freaking aerial strike and I messed it up somehow. Ow! There we go. Nice. Oh, you're in the woods. I mean, in the brush. Another one? Enemies maintain their stance with balance. Balance is displayed below the HP shield gauges. Okay. Can knock enemies off balance by performing a perfect parry. Enemies that are completely off balance become groggy. Use retribution to deal a massive amount of damage. Ah, shoot. I'm going to try to do that. Come at me again, bro. Nah. There we go. Nah. I don't know what's up with the controllers, but I feel like they're a little bit on the slow. Oh, there we go. Got it. Nice. Oh. Like, the combat feels very satisfying in this game. So after playing this demo, I actually got myself in the mood to really want to play um, Jedi uh, Fallen Order or Jedi Survivor. Fallen Order I've already played and beaten. That game was amazing. I love the fact that I started playing it and I started really feeling Metroid Prime vibes. I'm like, wait a minute, this feels like I'm playing Metroid, you know? So, you know, finding power-ups so you can progress through different areas throughout the game and all that. Like, that felt great. So, I enjoyed that game a lot. Jedi Survivor, I did play up the first portion of the game, the intro and all that stuff, when you're, I think you're on Coruscant? I don't know. Yeah, it was on Coruscant. But after Coruscant, when you leave the planet, that part I stopped playing, and I don't know why I stopped. Uh, I don't know, I guess I just wasn't in the mood for that type of game at the time. I was just playing it because it just came out, but I wasn't really in the mood to want to play it. But now, after playing this game, I'm kind of in the mood to play it now. So I might just pick it up again. I might even play uh, Fallen Order again. I, that game was really good. Oh, here we go. Ah, shoot. Scan. Where is it? There you are. Got him. Gears equipment can improve Eve's combat capabilities. You can equip gear in gear sockets to boost your desired combat capabilities. You can access gear sockets in their equipment tab by pressing options button. Uh, 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 Omni bolts to unlock more slots. Okay. Let's take a look at their gear then. Gear. Combo attack enhancement gear. Uh, combo attack power level 2 or higher. Alright. Planet diving suit. Nothing. Oh, wait, whoops. Hold on, I wasn't done yet. Hold on. Uh, that's all locked. Okay. So, not that I plan to do this, but I remember reading somewhere where the developer said, uh, I'm advising you guys not to have your character in a naked state. Technically, you can't put her in a quote unquote naked state because she's always wearing some kind of skin tight suit, but. The skin suit is basically her naked state, and he said when you do that, you're basically making the game like so much harder because she's taking so much damage from every hit. So, yeah, I won't plan on doing that. One, because, like I said, I don't want to feed into the fan service too much. And two, like he said, it's common sense. Like, you obviously want her to wear something because you're just going to take more damage if not, you know? Let's get in surrounding areas. 
there anything up here? Wait, hold on. I think there's something over here. I saw that. So it, it looked like a G. Yeah, there. Huh. I didn't see that the first time I played this game. Ooh. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. There's something here, for sure. Like, I only... I have beat this demo, but I didn't really fully explore the demo, so... I'm starting There's to learn... supply box over here. I'm starting to learn some stuff that I didn't see the first time around. I'm sure there are more supply boxes. Oh. It'll help us survive. Okay. So, look carefully. Yeah, yeah, I think I'll do that from now on. And maybe I might just backtrack and find stuff that I might have missed. What else we got? No new suits? No. No. We got a lot of stuff, yet I guess it wasn't stuff that I thought it would be. Oh, easy. Uh, you know, I'm not going to backtrack that far. Let's keep... Oh, does it have anything out there? No. Doesn't look like it. Alright, yeah, we're just going to keep going from here. I was thinking about going all the way back to the beginning and try scanning, but... Too late now. You can actually play this demo, demo multiple times. And what's cool about that is as you play it multiple times... By comparison, this city is looking pretty good. After the colony extinction, most places were nothing but dust. Hmm. Like, um, what was I going to say now? Right, so, yeah, you could play this game multiple times, or the demo multiple times, and it contributes towards the main game, like the full game, when it actually comes out. So anything you do here could be transferred over into the into the full game, which is kind of cool. Huh? Wait, there's a fusion cell. Let's open the car's hood. Oh, surprise. At least the fusion cell. Got it. Fusion cell? It's a high energy compression battery. Thanks to that, Earth's night isn't dark yet. Oh. It's the previous generation of the Infinity Cell. Infinity Cell? Be sure to keep that. It's very valuable. Fusion Cell. Oh wait, there's some boxes over here. Might be some items. No? Yeah. There's an enemy over there. First time I played this demo, that enemy took me out of surprise a couple of times. Ow! What the? I even tried to attack first! I guess the only thing you can do in that situation is just to parry. Ow! Nice cut. Yeah, I guess in a situation like that, there's no way you're going to be able to strike first. He's already poised to strike you first, so the only thing he could do is just uh, counter with a uh, parry. That wasn't so bad. I remember when I was playing Jedi Fallen Order, at one point, the game started feeling a little bit too easy, to the point where I wanted to crank up the difficulty a little bit. Problem is, the difference between the lowest difficulty and the next difficulty after that is pretty significant. Like, what the hell? This is supposed to be the next step up from the lowest difficulty, yet the lowest difficulty feels but easy, and the next step up feels like really hard. Like, what the freak? Like, it caught me off guard a bit. I feel like they should have had difficulty in between. Oh, I don't know the passcode. Hmm. Could probably look that up somewhere. Passcode, passcode, passcode. Maybe he has it? Let's see. The memory sticks fried. Hmm. It's fried, huh? Like, there's nothing I can do at all with that? Nope. Alright, so I actually looked it up on my phone. There is no code. At least not now. So, yeah. That box is staying locked for now. 
I tried. This is locked, I know that. It has to be able from the other side. So, I know there's a lot of controversy with this game in terms of the female body and all that stuff, whatever. But honestly, like I said, I don't care. The gameplay is amazing. But enough about the gameplay. The way the game looks... Uh, I think thing went off over there. Anyway, but the way the game looks, like, everything. The female characters, the environments, the enemies, the weapons, everything. This game just looks beautiful, man. Like, there's something beautiful about this game, you know? So, yeah, and even the... Oh, shoot. I had a chance to, to dodge that or a perfect dodge or whatever. Okay, I'm going to need some health. Uh, I would like to get some health. There we go. There we go. Now we're talking. You know, I probably should have done that first. Uh oh. Not all those explosive arrows blew up, so I might be able to use them for this guy. Okay. Ah, I did something wrong. Come on, get up. We're in the clear. Where do we go now? This way. There are traces of markers left behind by the leader. Okay, we'll go that way in a second. Just kind of looking around a little more. That's the car I was at earlier. What about this way? Looks like there's something over here. Oh, more of them. So, like I was saying before, before I started getting my butt kicked, yeah, like, there's just something beautiful about this game and everything. The environments, the characters, especially the characters. <laughs> just everything, you know? Like, come on. Like, you gotta appreciate the beauty of this game, you know? Forget the controversy, just look at it and just be in awe of how beautiful it is, you know? Whoa, that was weird. Bro, I'm still getting used to how the PlayStation 5 controller works, but I actually felt like a surround sound kind of feel with the controller's vibration, you know? Like, there's something vibrating over there, and as I'm turning, it's like the vibration of the controller is shifting along with me turning. That, that was cool. Alright. There's something definitely here, and I think that might be a bad guy, so let's get ready to fight this guy. Yep, I caught him off guard at least. What do we got? Uh, one of her fallen sisters. May your memories live on forever. Hmm. I know that another one of these pops up later in the game, so I get the feeling there might be three of them around. If I look close, I might be able to find all of them. I do notice that one here with this guy. I didn't know that one was there until now. But there is another one later before we fight the final boss for the demo. I hope that's not... Eh, I don't know what that is, but whatever. I think we're okay. Hint? Follow the markers, place them. Yeah, I know. By the Legion.
Wait, there's something over here. <sighs> Easy. There's definitely something here. Ugh. Wow. Well, wait, no. Yeah, up here. Hold on. I have to say, that's it? <laughs> well, that's just another way. That's all. I could have gone that way or this way. Huh. Well, that, that was a bummer. I thought it was going to be something special. Because I've seen people playing this demo with, like, different clothes and armor and all that stuff. And I'm like, where do I get that from? Hold on. I think there might be something here. Come on, get up. There we go. Might be something here. Nothing? No, nothing. Alright. So, yes. I've seen people playing this demo with different armor and clothes and all that. So, I'm wondering, like, where the hell did they get all that from? Last words of the hopeless... Oh, my neck. Oh, got a code. Good. The memory stick still has the security code registered. It also has record of a message log. Scan complete. Is there anything down here? Wait, there's something over there. You have to cross here. Got it. Do you see the ladder behind me? <laughs> There's definitely Can't something reach here, the ladder. though. The water level is too low. Try using the plank. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, I think it was just an easier way down without hurting myself. That's all. <laughs> Nothing up there, right? Um, okay, so now I gotta go in the water. First time I played this game, I didn't know I could actually climb onto the board and then go on the ladder. I had to move all the boards thinking I had to do that when I really didn't have to. I found another camp, great. Check the shop. What do we got? SP initializer, huh? Skill settings. Now, uh, here. After. Perfect. Dodge. Reflex boost. Makes it easier to use perfect dodge. Me too. Hmm. Shield break. Shock wave. There's two waves of fatal energy. Yeah, we're gonna stick to this one. After a perfect dodge, hold square. Go. All right, I'm gonna rest here. All right, good to go. Which way are we going? This way? Yeah. We have to go through this building. Try putting the fusion cell you have here. Fusion cell goes there. Before I do that, let's look around a little. Oh, this was the gate that was closed on the other side. This is the side where I can open it up. Nice. Alright, 
Let's go back this way. Alright, go this way. Up oh, this guy. Ugh, looks like a giant ant with a shield. Perfect dodge. Ow. Got him. First time I, I fought this guy, he kicked my butt, but this time I was ready for him. I'm getting the hang of how the combat works in this game, too, so... This is my second time playing the demo, right? So, yeah. We got here. Oh. Oh, back away, back away. Ow. We're good. I think there might be one around the corner here. Yeah, I was right. Okay, this is the Perry. As soon as he strikes, Perry. Oh, wow, really? I actually tried parrying that time. Maybe my timing was off? What do we got? Zero. A. K. Zero. R. <laughs> what do we got? Let's check our gear. Advanced nano element. Nothing new here. No. Nothing. I don't know. I don't know what I'm picking up these days, I feel like. Alright, let's go through this area. Library, huh? Oh, bad guy. Eve is protected by a shield. Eve has uh, damage reduction while the shield is active. And the damage reduction effect increases as the shield's protection level de increases. The uh, protection level decreases after each time the shield takes a certain amount of damage. Some enemies are also protected by a shield. Enemies have damage reduction while shield is active. Destroy the shield to stun the enemy and disrupt their skill use. Okay. Ow! That was a perfect parry, but he followed up with another attack. Nice. Ah! Time was off on that one. Okay, healed. Ah, he messed up. Ouch. Ouch. See what I mean? He kicked my butt last time. He's doing it again. Ah, freak you. Okay. Adam, 
What is this? Don't you know this already? It's a map. A map? How do you synchronize the location on the map? Synchronize? Oh boy. <laughs> She's completely oblivious. <laughs> Too used to technology. Doesn't know about the old school ways. You don't synchronize the information necessarily. You just know where you are and you look at where you are on the map and then you figure it out from there. What's this? Advanced polymer material. You know what? I get the feeling I make suits at like the main camp because there's a bigger camp up ahead like towards the end of the level when you fight the final boss for the demo. Oh, looks like this used to be a library. Hmm. Are these boxes displayed on the wall storage devices? Sort of. They can only store up to one megabyte of data. What a waste of resources. Hmm. Whoa! Oh, shoot. some damage, but that was a pretty quick kill. Alright, we're good. This way. The crack is quite deep. It's going to be difficult to pass. Hmm. We'll have to go across, past the parking tower. Not like leaning into the camera a little bit too much or something. That's better. Sorry, I'm getting a little uh, picky with how the camera's set up. <laughs> Ours is good. Definitely not going that way. It's around here before we proceed that way. Hmm. Okay, that thing's dead. Nope, that one ain't dead. Ow. It's nano element. Yeah, I think these nano elements I find will probably help me uh, synthesize like a better suit or something. Uh, hold on. Yo, why? There we go. Alright, that's locked. Probably opens from the other side. Parking tower. Wait a minute, what? Did I collect one earlier though? Should've been like two, right? Huh. Alright, so I decided to bring my son down here a little bit. He's not looking at the game though, don't worry. He's just uh, facing me. He's looking at the mirror, but yeah, that's about it. <laughs> he likes seeing himself in the mirror. <laughs> oh, excuse me. This is a dead end. Alright, we're going upstairs. Drink too. Supply camp in a place like this. Supply camp? What's that? It's a depot set up by the airborne squad who came here before. Hmm. Hmm. Looks like it's been abandoned for a long time. How come they <coughs> set up a camp in a corner like this? Well, the supply camp also serves as an important base. Hmm. Is this parking lot important? It could also mean that this place is very dangerous. Hmm. Hmm. Then I guess this place could be useful for us. Hmm. 
supply camps feature more devices than regular camps. You can use the repair console here to enhance weapons, increase your chargeable tumbler count, and increase your exospines and upgrade Eve's combat capabilities. Also, you can upgrade your drone, craft nano suits, and fast travel. There's still other camps. Okay, so I do craft nano suits. All right. So I was right about that. All right, let's activate this camp. Nice. Where's the music? That's a little bit too upbeat for me. That's fine. All right, let's see what we got here. Skill settings. Hey, buddy. Looking up his daddy. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Trainer skills, huh? Alright, so what's the skill? Blink. Right. Blink. I remember learning this in the first time I played this uh, demo. So we remove the target's rear and counter attack. Oh, the, once the sword blinks, ah, uh, that's what it was. Not the attack, the sword. Okay. Come on. There we go. Come at me again. There we go. Nice. Alright, we got this. Hey. Hmm. Alright, so I got one more here. Reflection. No. What's this? Counter. After perfect parry. Old and then why? Eh, well, not why, but you know. Okay. This is where I rest. Music. Fast travel. I can travel all the way back to the very beginning of this area if I wanted to. And repair console. Pack power enhancements. Tumblr enhancements. Your sockets. Pack power increased. Nice. Now, they did mention about crafting uh, stuff, so I'm wondering. Where do I do that? Skill settings. Next song. Fast travel. Hmm. All right, let's just rest for now. Adam. Yeah. About yesterday. Thank you for saving me. It's nothing really. Though I have used up almost all of the exospine materials that I collected over the years. <laughs> oh. It's all right. It's for a good cause. Means we saved her life, and she's gonna help all of us, <laughs> or all of you guys. We can track down the Alpha Nativa together, and well, I'd have trouble making it out here by myself anyway. Hmm. If you can locate the Hall of Records. You'll have done more than enough. Listen, don't worry. I promise. I'll make sure to repay you. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, because that wire just pull on it. Hey. <laughs> ah. <laughs> hmm. I really wish I could craft a new suit, though, because I've seen people do that. Well, not really seen them do the crafting part, but I've seen people play this demo with new suits and everything, yet I can't seem to be able to do that myself, so what's up with that? I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm missing something in this demo. Alright, going upstairs. Up here is where we fight the final boss, for the demo at least. Not all the way up. Let's go here first. I think this might be locked, though. Yep, this is locked. Alright. And here it goes. <clears throat> Look. Oh boy. That is one nasty looking creature. Adam. 
Adam, get back! Ow! Nice! Nice dodge. Ow. Which one is uh, lingering? Okay. Move, move, move. I hate having the D-pad over there. Like I said, I hate the... I hate the way the PlayStation controllers are designed! Ugh, there you go. Ah, I screwed that one up, I think. Goodness, I'm not playing on normal because I'd be dead right now. Ah. Got him. Time to finish you off. Nice. And that's it. Now it's just glimpses of what's you know, more of the stuff into this game. <laughs> Looks like she's just wearing a exercise suit. <laughs> wow. I can see the space center over there. This is the turret's motion center. What do we do now? The drone is different. Yes, this is no longer the drone you knew. Adam. Are you listening to me? Something serious seems to have happened. I have to return to Zion. Oh my goodness. It's full of plants and little birds. <laughs> Guess you've never seen stuff like that before, huh? That's the boss we just fought. Nice. I'm not playing in normal mode, but even in story mode, I wish I could do the crap they're showing off right now, because that looks awesome. Stellar Blade. Oh, bless you. 26th of this month, actually. <laughs> you know what? This game got me in the mood to keep using my PS5 now, because for a while I wasn't even touching my PS5, unless I was playing Ghost of Tsushima, which is a game that I really love, but now it's coming to PC, so I might get that. I already bought the game, so we're good to go. Um, main menu? Yeah. Ooh, excuse me. And 
Now there's also a boss challenge. Boss challenge unlocked. Select boss challenge in main menu in order to experience a boss fight with a wider variety of skills, huh? Oh, so now they really are going to start showing off the game to you a little bit more. Oh, this was the different suit I saw. Okay. So this is just automatically unlocked. Yeah, she, uh, wow. <laughs> anyway, like I said, I'm not in it for the fan service. I'm really not. I swear. I swear. I know it's hard to believe, but trust me. <laughs> what do we got? Rail yard? Now, my question is, am I playing on easy or am I going to boob physics? Anyway. Hmm? Now, my question is, am I playing on story mode still or is this on normal? This is a freaking powerful boss, I can tell. I'm seeing a lot of hits. Yeah, this is definitely further in the game that I'm not used to at all. Ah. Oh, invisible barrier there. Heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up. Ah, I screwed up. You died. Yeah. Revive. I'll try one more time. I ain't heal up at all. Hey, <laughs> my son's just looking at me like, what are you doing, Dad? <laughs> yeah, like I said, the boo physics. Oh my gosh. <laughs> me and my friend Peter, he, we used to joke a lot about how some games have boo physics for female characters, and we're like, really? They actually put boo physics? <laughs> so, yeah, this game's boo physics are for real. <laughs> anyway. If I don't beat this boss this time, I'm not going to keep trying. I'm just going to give it a break. Oh. Ooh, nice counter. Hey, you okay, buddy? My son's moving around a lot. Hey. There we go. Oh, come on, get up. Dodge. Come on! Yeah. Nice. Ooh, that was a powerful one. Okay, fall back. Heal. gets me is that not only do they attack once, but they attack multiple... Oh, man, I died again. Alright, that's it. Uh, I'll revive, but I'm going to back to the main menu. If I can, how do I get back, get back to the main menu? Here we go. Exit. No, here we go. Yes. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Okay, guys, and that's it with the Stellar Blade demo. I'm thinking I'm gonna, I'm thinking I'm gonna try that boss challenge mode again because I think I could beat that guy if I really understand the concepts behind this game, like the small little kind of details, like really practice it. I could probably get a hold of it and really beat that guy. Hey. So, with that said, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, hopefully next time I, well, yeah, yeah, definitely next time I uh, record this game, it will be the full game, not just the demo. And what's good is that I could transfer everything that happened in this demo into the full game. So I'll pick right up. I should be able to pick right where I left off. So yeah. So you see you guys all in the next stream.